friends, welcome to our math class. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to solve word problems related to quadrilaterals. So we will find the unknown angles of some quadrilaterals. Are you ready? Let's begin. For the first problem, okay, let me adjust first this. Okay, for the first problem, Let me read it for you. Okay. W, X, Y, Z is a trapezium in which angle W, Y, Z is equal to 100 degrees. Angle W, Z, Y is equal to 40 degrees. And angle W, X, Y is equal to 105 degrees. Find angle X, W, Y. In, in answering this kind of word, word problem, Basically, you have to understand and analyze all the given values or the given numbers. Okay, now try to look at and analyze the figure. Check with the words given in the problem. So let us say, W, X, Y, going back to the problem, W, X, Y, Z is a trapezium. So this is a trapezium. Why? Why is this a trapezium? Okay. Because there is one pair of parallel lines. So, first line is YX parallel to ZW. Okay. So, there is one pair of parallel lines, but the other two lines are not parallel. Okay. So, we call this one as trapezium. So, another concept about trapezium, the angles between two parallel lines add up to 180 degrees so remember that so again angles in between two parallel lines add up to 180 degrees now going back to the problem angle wyz is equal to 100 let us locate identify where is it wyz wyz so that means this one Okay, this angle. Now, angle W, Z, Y, W, Z, Y is 40 degrees, correct? And angle W, X, Y, W, X, Y is 105. We need to find out angle X, W, Y. So, I'm going to use my green marker here. So, we need to find out this angle. So, I'm going to show. This is the thing that we need. This is the angle that we need to find out. Okay. Okay. Now. So in finding this one, analyze the given um, degrees in this trapezium. Okay. So as what we have said, the angles between two parallel lines add up to 180 degrees. So let us look at all the angles between two parallel lines. We have 100 here. So by the way, the angles for these two parallel lines are X, Y, Z and Y, Z, W. Okay. So therefore, these two angles belong to this X, Y, Z. Okay. Now we have here 40 for YZW. Okay, so these two angles need to be 180 degrees. But since we only have the uh, one part of the angle here, 100, so we need to find out the other angle here. Okay, so therefore we need to find first angle XYW. X y w how to find the x y w simply subtract 180 degrees subtract subtract to 100 degrees then subtract to 40 degrees okay because this full angle here the two angles make up one for y this one x y g add up to 40 becomes 180. 
So to find the other part that is missing, the other angle that is missing, you have to subtract it. So 180 minus 100 minus 40, the answer will become 40 degrees. So therefore, this part here is 40 degrees, this angle here. Okay, now, this is 40 degrees, this is a triangle, you can easily find angle x w y so to find x w y you need to okay subtract you know that the triangle the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees you have two angles here so 180 degrees minus 105 degrees minus 40 degrees that would give you 35 degrees so therefore therefore the answer to this problem is 35 degrees so angle x w y is equals to 35 degrees so therefore this one is 35 degrees okay so you get this correctly so check 105 plus 35 140 plus 40 180 okay so let us check again if you want um, to find out. So 105 plus 35 is equals to 140. So therefore this one is 42. 40, right? Now when we add all of them, 100, 100 plus 40 plus 40 equals 180. So that means we get the answer correctly. Okay? So questions of question you may post your questions on our google classroom so let's continue with word problem number two so i will read again the problem for you a b c d is a parallelogram so this is, an, this is another type of quadrilateral in which angle dba is equal to 75 degrees and angle BCD is equal to 70 degrees. Find angle DBA. So looking at this figure, so we have parallelogram A, B, C, D. Right. Okay. Angle DBA, angle DBA is 75 degrees. Correct. And angle BCD, BCD is equal to 70 degrees. So we need to find out angle B, D, A. So how to find out? Let us look at first where is angle B, D, A. So B, D, A. So therefore, this part that we need to, this angle that we need to find out. So to find this angle, remember the concept about parallelogram. Okay, we have two pairs of, par of parallel line. We have this line parallel to this line. Parallel, a uh, line AB is parallel to BC. Then line AB is parallel to BC. Now, the another concept that we have in our parallelogram is that the angles, okay, the opposite angles are equal. So therefore, let let us take a look of the angles, okay? So, this angle DAB not given, um, angle ABC not given, but we have here angle BCD, which is 70. So, opposite of this angle is this angle, right? So, therefore, we can write here 70 degrees, okay? So that's why I told you to remember the concept about um, parallelograms or about the quadrilaterals. So 70 degrees, this one equal to this angle. Now, next, what are we, going? we can now find angle BDA. Very easy. Because this is a triangle and a triangle, the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, we can write here 180 degrees minus 70 degrees minus 75 degrees. The answer will become 35 degrees. So therefore, angle BDA is equals to 
35 degrees. So this one, 35 degrees. So to check, you may count the total angles, the measure of the the measure of these three angles. We have 70 plus 75. We have 145 plus 35. That give that will give you 180 degrees. So we get the answer correct. Okay, that's BDA. So angle BDA is equals to 35 degrees. All right, for the last word problem, we will need to find angle P. Okay, so looking at this figure, what kind of quadrilateral is this? So this is what we call a trapezium. Okay, a trapezium has a one pair of parallel lines. So this line and this this line is parallel to this line at the bottom okay the two the other two lines are not parallel now let's take a look of the angles here so we need to find out angle p so we have three angles given here we have 86 this part this angle and we have here 52 degrees this angle so look at this angle make um the line here crossing is not really it's not in the middle and i mean it is not connected to the, the other end here the other point so it is ended here on this part okay now so we have 75 degrees on this angle now we need to find angle p how to find angle p so looking back at our concept about trapezium so the angles between two parallel lines add up to 180 degrees so therefore this angle and this angle add up to 180 degrees we cannot um we cannot measure it but better we use these two angles here we have 86 degrees here and we don't have the angle here we need to find out first this one since angle p is in this triangle so better we use this uh, value so we need to find out the the, in, the unknown angle here so 180 degrees minus 86 degrees minus okay 86 degrees is equals to that is the answer 94 degrees so therefore this angle is 94 degrees now we can now answer angle p because since this is a triangle and we know that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so we have two given angles here therefore we can subtract 180 degrees minus 94 degrees minus 52 degrees that would give you how many 34 degrees please do check so 100 so angle p is equals to 34 degrees 180 minus 94 minus 52 it was 34 okay so that's it so we have three word problems that we discussed for today and uh, if you have question you may post your questions on our google classroom or you may um, you may read our um, lessons in your book and do some activities exercises there so have a great day thank you for watching thank you for listening to our video tutorial see you next time bye